Yo, what's happening, everybody? So, um, you know, I haven't done a fucking video in, like, a long-ass fucking time. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of been slacking on that shit. Not gonna lie, man. And, like, you know what? You guys have... If you guys are pissed about it, you guys have every right to be fucking pissed. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry and all that stuff. But it ain't gonna be, like, a football-related video today. It's gonna be more music. So it's like, um... I'll try to make some, uh football like sports videos later but um right now i'm gonna make a video related to music so i was doing my reviews of all the eminem albums and um i realized it's been a while since i did it a fucking long ass fucking time you know what i mean and like the next album up is the 2013 album which is the slim or excuse me the marshall mathers lp2 okay so, this album came out in November of 2013. Um, I believe it was November 5th, 2013, which was literally the day before my 17th birthday. So, like, when this album came out, I was a junior in high school, and, like, you know, I enjoyed the hell out of it. So, I really want to sit here and just, like, talk about, like, all the songs and shit, you know what I mean? And get back to my reviews that I was doing about, like, all the Eminem albums. So, uh, yeah, any, without further ado, here we go, what's up? So, the first song, by the way, I don't have the actual album, you know what I mean? I had it digitally, but, you know, long story short, some bullshit happened, so I had to write all this shit down. Anyway, um... First song of the album is Bad Guy. Um, I want to go back to 2014, August. I went to Lollapalooza in Chicago. You know, that's where I'm from. And um, Eminem was there. Uh, he fucking... That was one of... That was the best concert I've ever been to in my life. And um, he came out and started that whole fucking um concert with that song bad guy like this was literally right after he released his album so he was pretty much touring for this fucking album right you know what i mean so came to chicago Lollapalooza, and first song was bad guy it was literally so fucking loud at that concert that i couldn't even hear the fucking song it was that fucking loud when he came out everybody was going crazy man this oh jesus anyway um let me actually review the song my bad i was trying to do like the whole past or anything but but here what's up um bad guy the song is a is basically the sequel to the song excuse me the song stan uh which came out on the Marshall Mathers lp the first one which came out in 2000 this by this time this was 2013 so in this song bad guy matthew there's a part in the song stan when he says that's my brother matthew man and he grows you know in this song he grows up and you know he realizes that fucking you know the guy stan he died and stuff and the fucking kid matthew he comes back and he fucking kills eminem so it's like a, i think it's like a seven minute song it's fucking awesome you know what i mean it's just like damn if you love the song stan man you haven't heard the song bad guy by eminem you gotta fucking look this shit up man it's fucking awesome it's fucking genius you know what I mean? So anyway, let's get along with this album. So you come up to the next song. It's called Rhyme or Reason. And this song is kind of like, it's a good song, right? And it's kind of like, it's like the song about, it's kind of like his dad. It's kind of about like his dad. You know what I mean? Like, oh, let's have us a father and son talk and blah, 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 blah. But I don't think we'll go a block without me hitting you in your face and shit like that. It's a good song. But it kind of surprises me that it took him, you know, this long in his career to make a song about his dad like this, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, obviously he hated his mom and everything, you know, and he made all the songs about his mom and shit, but I feel like he would have at least made at least one song back in, like, the early 2000s about his dad, but, hey, he made it in 2013, so whatever, it's a good song. I was kind of surprised it took him till 2013, but you know what? It's whatever, it's a good song. Oh, so much better. This song is pretty funny. My life will be so much better if you just drop dead. <laughs> that's that's when you know some shady's back. This is a good ass song. I fucking love it. Oh man, I need a machine gun. I hope you have a heart attack and just drop dead. And I'm gonna throw a fucking party after this, cause my life will be so much better if you just drop dead. I fucking love it. Survival. So. 
this song survival's all right i think this is all this is for all you uh call of duty fans out there that love that game and you know listen to that song while you're playing call of duty yeah pretty much that's all i gotta say if you like call of duty you probably like this song then we get to the song legacy right legacy is my third favorite song on the whole album Oh man, this song is so good. It's like, uh, this is my legacy, legacy. I don't know, I really like this song. It's, in my opinion, I really like the piano in the back with like the little beat that's going and what Eminem's rapping about and shit. I think it, it's a fantastic song. I really do. I fucking love it so much. Then we come up to the song Asshole. Asshole is all right, I guess. I'm not like too huge, too crazy on the song, but like, yeah, I like it. It's it's whatever, but it's not like a song that I put on like all the fucking time. So I mean, it's decent. Whatever. I don't hate it or anything. I don't dislike it, but I do like it. But I don't put it on like a shit ton of song, but or shit ton of, shit ton of times I could do all the other songs. You know what I mean? Then we get Berserk, my favorite song on the album, man. So the song Berserk, he's trying to throw it back to like fucking like eighties rap. You know what I mean? Like the Beastie Boys and shit. So, if you've ever seen the music video to Berserk, or if you haven't, like, go look up the, the, the fucking music video to the song Berserk, and then after you watch that video, go look up the song, um, So What You Want by the Beastie Boys, the music video, and you're definitely gonna see a very, a lot of similarities between it, you know what I mean, like, they were produced by Rick Rubin, both of them, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, man, Eminem's favorite rapper rap group anything was the fucking beastie boys he fucking absolutely loved them you know what i mean so um yeah he's trying to throw back to that 80s rap just like the beastie boys you know what i mean so it's kind of like it's it's a badass fucking song it's my favorite fucking song on the album I ain't gonna lie man when that fucking shit came out when i was a junior man <laughs> everybody was talking about it at school and shit and dude it was fucking Man, it was just, it was talk of, like I said, the high school, and man, oh, dude, every, everybody was about it, man. Then we come up right after Berserk is Rap God, my second favorite song on the album. Rap God, holy shit. Like I said, this fucking album came out, this song, this album, came out when I was a fucking junior in high school. When this fucking Rap God, Rap God song came out, everybody was talking about it even more than Berserk. Even though I like Berserk more, Rap God was talking about more, especially because of the fast part in that song. You know, some of them, some of them, you saying I'm here, what I gotta do to get dirty, I'm assuming you innovate, and so anything you say, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go. Yeah, it's fucking like, that fast part in that song is ridiculous, man. Everybody was talking about it, man. And once I learned how to do the whole fucking fast part, man, I, everybody was looking at me and shit. By the way, if you guys want to make a video or something about like me doing the fast part. I'm not. I, I know I just did a little bit of it, but I'm not gonna do the rest of it here. If you guys want me to do a video of it, let me know in the comments. Say, hey, can you please make a video of you doing the fast part to rap God and shit and whatever. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. Uh, I, I'd be more than happy to. Anyway, let's move on to the song Brainless. Brainless is a good song. I'm not like don't like love it, don't hate it, you know, it, like, it's a good song, I like to li listen to it every now and then, like, you know, brainless and shit, like, it's a good song, you know what I mean, I like it, <laughs> it's pretty cool, then after that, so Stronger Than I Was, now, when this album first came out, I really, honestly, was not crazy about the song, I really didn't like it, then about a year later, my senior year, I started listening to this a lot more, and then I honestly started playing this song on repeat, like, all the time, over and over and over again, this is a great song, Stronger Than I Was, yeah, it's just anybody that needs like a um, a boost or something in their life, or they need like a good song to listen to, they're depressed or something. That's a good ass song to listen to. It's very, very good. I fucking love it. Uh, the song Monster, eh, it's okay, I guess. He does it with Rihanna. I love like you know, I really like Rihanna and shit. But um, the song Monster is a radio hit. There are so many fucking songs on this album that are way better than this fucking song. You know what I mean? Like, if you've never listened to this album and the only thing you've heard is Monster on the radio, uh, it's probably going to be your favorite song, but you definitely need to listen to the album. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's just all right. The song so far, I don't really want to talk too much about this. This is this is my absolute least favorite song on the whole album. I, I, 
Yeah, it's my least favorite song on the album. I don't want to talk anymore about it. Okay. Next, we got Love Game, which is probably like my second to least favorite song on here. I think it's got Kendrick Lamar on there. Not a big Kendrick Lamar fan, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know you guys are going to probably gonna hate me for that. Give me dislikes and fucking hate me in the comments and shit, and shit like that. But, dude, it's an opinion, man. All right, man. I don't like Kendrick Lamar. I, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be fucking playing with you. That's the fucking truth, man. I do not like Kendrick Lamar. And that song, eh. So then we come up to Headlights. Oh, Headlights is a fantastic song. Headlights is about how Eminem apologizes to his mom and they get together and shit. And, oh, it's it's a fantastic song. Man. I, I can't even sit here and explain it. If you know about the past relationship but before 2013 of Eminem and his mom, and if you haven't, I'll give you one song to look up. It's called Cleaning Out My Closet. If you don't know anything about Eminem and his mom, look up the song Cleaning Out My Closet. Okay? And then right after that song, listen to this song, Headlights, and you will completely understand. Magnificent song. Then the last song on the, like, front side or A side or whatever the fuck it is is Evil Twin. Evil Twin de is a decent song. I like it. It's whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not crazy about it. I kind of like the fucking song. What the fuck was I talking about earlier? Brainless. Brainless is a good... It's basically like Brainless. I'm not crazy about it, but it's good. All right. And then the hidden track on this fucking album is a song called Don't Front. Don't Front, man. It's a good song, man. You would think that this fucking song came out in like the 90s because it sounds like 90s rap, but nope, 2013, man. Look up the song, Don't Front. It's pretty fucking good. And now we get to the five songs that are the on the deluxe part of the album. So the first song is Baby. Baby's a good fucking song, you know? <laughs> and like anybody that, that follows me on this channel and knows that I love Tom Brady know, probably knows that part that I, of the song that I love is nobody's crazy as shady in an 80 million mile radius I'm what Tom Brady is to the Patriots to rap so he's talking positively about Tom Brady obviously he's not on the fucking Patriots anymore but it's like uh, that's a good song that's my favorite line because he's like Tom Brady baby <laughs> anyway we get to Desperation which is my least favorite song of these five deluxe songs it's Desperation it's alright I guess and let's do it every once in a blue moon Groundhog Day, I fucking love this song, man. Probably, yeah, this is my favorite song of the deluxe part of the album. So, Groundhog Day, he basically just raps all the way up until the end where he does the chorus. There's no chorus until the very end when he says Groundhog Day. And he has, like, the same flow for, like, the two first minutes of the whole song. It's like, holy shit. You know what I mean? If you don't know the song, go look it up. It's fucking fantastic. I fucking love the song. Right after that, we come to Beautiful Pain, which is the fourth song on the deluxe album. Beautiful Pain is a magnificent song, which he does with, her name is like Sia or Saya. It's spelled S-I-A, and she's a great singer too. And, and this is a great song, Beautiful Pain. I love it. Look it up if you haven't. And then we come to the very last song on this album, which is Wicked Ways. This song is fantastic fucking awesome you know what i mean like fucking me and my friends you know about a year after this album came out so my senior year we would fucking jam out to this song in the car and i'd go to his house and we hang out and we listen to this song and shit you know i fucking love him he can do like the whole verses to this fucking song like all the raps and shit it's pretty good so uh, yeah man so Basically, this is a great album. I have a lot of great memories listening to this album. And that's why when I give this grade, when I grade this fucking album, I'm going to give it a 9.4 out of 10. Yes, I am grading it a little, a tad bit higher than the first Marshall Mathers LP. Higher than the Slim Shady LP? Because, like, I gave Marshall Mathers LP... Oh, 9.3 and this one a 9.4, a tad bit better. But I still got the Eminem show at 9.7. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I know a lot of you guys are going to hate me for this. Probably about, like, you know, the whole giving a 9.4 and, like, how high it is and shit. But that's my opinion, man. I fucking love it, dude. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, like, I just... I can't get enough of this album. I really think it's awesome. It's really nostalgic for me, and I think it's awesome and shit. And yeah, that's, I mean, honestly, guys, that's really about it. And that's, I gave my whole review of the album, 9.4 out of 10. So you know what, guys? That's really it. So you know what? Throw up in the comments what you guys think about this album. What's your rating out of 10? 
what songs do you like? What songs do you hate? You know, what do you think of my opinion? Please be nice about it. I'd really appreciate that. But you know what, guys? If you can give me a subscribe, if you like these type of videos, if you like football, hockey videos, just give me a subscribe, man. And you know what? Like the video, please. And then hit that bell, get my notifications for these videos. But yeah, until next time, guys, I really got nothing for you. So I'll see you later.